So what are the UVs? Um, to see that, let's uh, switch to the UV tab and uh, because uh, on the UV map uh, list the texture is selected, we can see that this texture has been created by default in Modo. This is a UV map. Uh, those parts are the top and the, the cap of the tube. We could keep them or redo them totally and for the sake of the exercise we're going to redo them of course. So let's split uh, the tube uh, uh, by uh, clicking twice on the middle edge. I'd like to have the two sides split so that we can add a different texture on the front on the back of the tube. And uh, here we have the cap and uh, I'd like to separate the cap as well from the rest of the tube. So I don't want to turn all around and uh, I just need to separate the cap so let's remove this uh, this split here that will split the, the cap in two pieces and I don't need that. I need like a, a flat band. So let's keep the edge until this uh, this cut here. Uh, we'll add some bumps and texture probably on this this cap so we need a separate UV for that. Select two edges and once you select two edges it gives you the direction of the top arrow on your keyboard you can add to close the loop add to the selection. So now we'll have a different UV island just for the, the cap and while we're here let's uh, separate the the top of the cap as well because um, I will only need the, the side and uh, this top here would be useless so select two edges and top a row again and uh, we need to to have one cut so let's select two edges top a row will extend the selection and you come down to join to link with uh, with the top of the cap. So it's exactly like a, a fashion pattern. We we trace like a, a dotted line with the edges all around where we want to cut the, the pieces. And this is not too bad. So now let's go back to UV. Uh, something that can be very useful just in case you close Modo, you lose the selection and you want to redo UV. Go to the select as in selection set and call that one UV edge for instance or whatever you want and save the scene control s now let's say you close modo or modo crashes you restart it the selection will be saved under the statistic you go under edges and you'll find it by selection set here are your selection and this one the uv edges right here you click on the little plus and it will select the edges for you so now let's go back to the UV space. Uh, let's grab an uh, unwrap tool, which will unwrap. You click anywhere on the, on the square. And uh, we have iteration is uh, a little bit low now, but um, the more iteration you have, and the more it will try to flatten all the pieces. Um, by uh, clicking and with your left mouse button and dragging to the right it will uh, add actual iteration or you can just type whatever number you want. Uh, try the to change the pin axis to U or V which is vertical or horizontal. Vertical works better for the, the cap. Uh, let's try spherical. That gives really good results sometimes. Uh, let's change the, the axis for the projection. X, Y and Z. Z is pretty good and uh, there is no exact science here. I mean, you have to try and see what's what result looks the best and present the less distortion. We can uh, push the iteration to a thousand just to see, but obviously won't go any better. And uh, you have different algorithm now. You have angle-based and conformal. So it's worth trying both of them. Here it doesn't change anything, but According to the model, you can have uh, better result with uh, any of those uh, 
do the algorithm. So drop the tool with the space bar, save the scene, and now we're going to reorganize a little bit the UVs. So this one, if I select a few edges, I can see that uh, the lower part of my cap is here, so I can rotate it. Always use the Y tool for everything, uh, move, rotate. I'm going to push the cap outside of the UV space. Here, this is the UV space, the square. Uh, the square is uh, represents exactly the, the size of the picture I'm going to map on my uh, on my UVs. So let's uh, rotate the UV island for the tube as well, and have uh, the same position that we have on the scene, vertical. And there is still a lot of distortion. And if I want to add the text in Photoshop, uh, I will have problems because if you look carefully, it's not straight, and my text will be straight. So we'll have distortions. Uh, if I prepare the text and I project paint it inside model, I, I won't have any problem because distortion will be compensated by the projection. But it will be easier to do it in Photoshop. So this UV isn't adapted the way it is right now. Uh, it will request some more work. Let's double click on the cap UV island to select it. Uh, Shift H to hide everything that is, isn't selected. And uh, we're going to flatten the, this UV. Uh, double click on the edge and unselect everything that you, you don't need using the right mouse button to use the, the lasso, which will be faster. And we'll keep only the top edges, right-click on them, and choose the up, which will flatten all the vertices on the upper point uh, level. So everything is exactly on the same flat line. Now we can do it for the lower line and for the side. Let's select the side, right button, right mouse button, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to be really uh, dead on. I lost it, so let's uh, reselect it. So now make sure I have only this side. It can be tedious sometimes. Uh, right is correct now. Left, right mouse button. Align it to the left this time. And uh, below, we're going to select two edges and with the top arrow extend the selection and this time right mouse button again and down which will align all the vertex on the lower point level so now I'm sure that uh, the the outside border of my shape is perfectly square and I can try to redistribute the line inside with UV relax and I keep lock boundary lock boundary will keep my uh, my frame around it I will try to rebalance the the polygon inside of this boundary. So um, we can try to switch to conformal or adaptive. Adaptive gives a pretty good result. It's not bad at all. It's not perfectly flat yet, so if you want to straighten it, you can do it by hand. Uh, double click on each edge and choose up or down or right or left and you can rebalance everything so you make sure everything is really flat double click it, it goes fast actually double click right click up now go really fast uh, some time lapse won't hurt actually it's very tedious and repetitive task and uh, let's do it for the vertical line as well almost there good it's done so now we have a perfectly uh, well unwrapped cap and if you add a, a texture that you painted in Photoshop for instance it will fit exactly and with no dif distortion so U for unhide H to hide the selection we'll do exactly what we did before Let's hide everything from the cap. We can reselect both of them. Uh, 
and we can uh, use the UV projection tool planar mode and click once to get something really fast totally flat of course now the the two sides are uh, together above uh, each other so what you can do is select one half okay you can extend the selection with uh, with shift a row once you selected uh, the middle polygon shift top a row and select uh, or reselect whatever is missing once you did select half of the tube what you'll do is activate the Y tool click once inside the UV space and look uh, in the, the properties you can activate tear off tear off will allow you to split the two sides now you have two UVs perfectly straight that represent the tube with the same uh, same kind of deformation um, there is one thing you have to uh, move this edge a little bit double click select it because it's coming above the rest so you have to lower it slightly whenever you see some red and uh, the UV space it means overlap meaning polygons are above other polygons which uh, should shouldn't happen you see it like this one here but uh, we can do it with uh, the UV relax um, just to try to smooth in keep lock boundary active but you see that we're losing uh, precision the lines are going funky so uh, I, I prefer to do it by hand later on like we did for the, the cap but just for a few ones um, what we need to do now is testing um, make a text use it and see how it's uh, it's projecting and then correct the UV so that it's easier in Photoshop uh, we're going to lay the UV correctly on the same space so we're going to reduce them and uh, try to occupy maximum space because the more space you you feel the more resolution you'll have on your on your mesh uh, I'm just trying to make the the side fit horizontally and then I will stretch them vertically uh, to try to find the same proportion I have on the real tube so stretch them up until you're more or less like the the tube and uh, I still have space for the, the cap underneath uh, I don't have to use the cap here but uh, it might be useful to have it on this UV as well Oh, you see, that's a problem. This, this is like a bug. When you move uh, an object and TRF is activated, it's like melted cheese. And so basically you have to undo, um, uncheck TRF and move it again. And this time it will move appropriately. And uh, of course you don't want to overlap the UVs. So we might do a specific UV for the, for the cap. Um, that might be too low in resolution let's move it here now that we have the UV we go under texture export UV to EPS and that's how we're gonna use the template in uh, Photoshop let's call it tube UV or whatever you'd like and we switch to Photoshop so this is the old uh, old UV let's reopen the UV uh, APS tube UV uh, you have to choose the pixels uh, let's choose 2048 which would be far enough for the resolution and the uh, color space RGB we don't need the magenta let's keep RGB we, we won't need the color necessarily but uh, let's keep that option open so when it's selected double click on the, the layer because you can't see the UV uh, grid and uh, click on stroke which will actually add some uh, a black line around the, the wireframe and make it more visible this one I like to lock it completely 
so it uh, it's avo it's preventing me from uh, moving it my by mistake or painting on it we'll create another layer let's uh, move it underneath let's call that one uv so we know which one it is and now we're going to work on the on the clean uh, layer on the blank layer uh, let's just type uh, a very basic text just just to make a test so I'm going to type something and obviously it's too small adjust the size and this is in French by the way so don't uh, uh, type whatever you want creme de nuit that's very fancy right and uh, what else Quintessence. That's terrible. A French guy trying to take the French accent speaking English. Like this is very uh, hype. Pathetic. Anyway, let's select everything, center the text, move it in the middle. So it will be centered in modo. And uh, type anything you want. whatever just to see if the the text aligned properly or is badly deformed uh, by uh, the projection on the UV let's go uh, low enough so you you can see actually what's uh, what's going on under on the whole uh, surface so that's enough let's hide the UV grid the UV wireframe and uh, let's export it as a PNG with the transparency, call it uh, tube UV test and uh, let's uh, switch to modo and uh, we'll load the image image tube UV test is somewhere here so in case you're lost you can always type the, the beginning of your text and you'll find it here the list. It helps when you have a bad site like me. And you can drag and drop the, the texture straight from the clip to the UV to the, the mesh. Now it's reversed and uh, it's slightly distorted as you can see. So it's not straight because as you can see on the UV uh, this edge is totally bended it's going down so I can uh, lift it until uh, my projection is correct the rest is okay it's uh, reversed that's a little problem and uh, let's uh, straighten the line down here as well just in case as we did before you can uh, flatten all the, the edges if you want by double clicking and and choosing up or down and uh, let's move it down a little bit you don't want to have red uh, parts with overlap so on the width this, uh, it's working but we reversed so let's uh, select double click on the UV island and uh, choose the negative scale on your Y tool and you have to go to minus a hundred which will reverse perfectly your your UV and now it's uh, it's fitting and it's straight so check both UV uh, work on, on the other side as well and try to flatten a little bit your your edges on both up down whatever uh, this one is not very important, but for the sake of it, you can you can do it. I uh, I leave you deal with this UV, and uh, we'll see afterward. Now we're going uh, a different uh, surface name for the the cap. Let's select the polygons, call it uh, cap, bouchon in French, and uh, choose another color, just uh, to see it visually. H to hide it. and now double click on the tube and call it tube 
and change the color to something white. So we have two different surfaces now. U for unhide. If we feel like to have this cap on another UV, we can double click to select both UV island. Right click on the UV map, copy, create a new UV map just underneath, call that one uh, cap. Cap in French, bouchon again. Do OK. Right click and do paste. And your UV is pasted now on this uh, this new UV. And you can fill all the space now on both act axes. You can stretch it. No, we don't really care about the top actually. The lines will will lie on the width of the of the cap, not so much on the on the height. We don't care so much. So that's far enough. We can increase if we want. But uh, we won't use it. That that's enough now. We don't need to fill more space. We'll do small bumps, actually, small uh, lines, to do this kind of uh, of texture you have on the on the cap to help uh, grabbing them under the shower. Um, just a little thing again. This UV here, we could uh, clear it if we want. Right click on clear. Um, I'm going to keep it anyway, because that way uh, you can perfectly do a one UV and uh, have everything on on one single UV instead of having two of them. So, I mean, I wanted to show you how to copy and paste and create a specific uh, UV for um, have a having a, a better resolution for the, the cap, but won't make any difference here. We could use the same UV. Try to, uh, to fill the width as much as you can. And uh, let's uh, now switch to creating better textures, uh, real textures, and uh, several ones for the, the front and the back. And uh, we're going to see in a while the final scene.